Hello! I'm on the road again. Uh, more rice cakes, look at me teeth. So, I'm travelling down south, uh, 250 mile trip roughly. Uh, I'm off to train people to be expert witnesses in court on drugs cases. Uh, it's a course I um, teach on three times a year. So it's Thursday today, so I'll travel down this morning, present this afternoon. Then I'm going to dip down to Dartford and hopefully train at Crawford Weight and Fitness. Uh, then back up to the hotel to do some more work with the students. And then tomorrow we run mock courts. And then tomorrow night I'm um, training two clients at Monster Gym at Chesson, which is somewhere I've trained a few times. Um, and then uh, from there back down to Dartford to train at Crawford's again. Um, then round to High Wycombe, night in High Wycombe, and then train a client in High Wycombe nine o'clock Saturday morning. Then up to uh, Newbury. Train a client there at 12, and then up to Telford, train a client there at 3, and then boom. <laughs> so, the worst thing about being on the road, really, for me, is food. So, um, in the back, I've got my drugs case, uh, I've got my laptop case, I've got a suitcase with um, change of clothes, training gear, you know, all the usual shit. And we suit as well, because when we do more call, we all dress in suits. Uh, and then I've got my plug-in cool box. So it's like a semi-refrigerated cool box. In there I've got a kilo of rice. That's uncooked weight, but that's all been cooked. I've got two kilos of meat. I've got a kilo of chicken. I've got no greens. Um, I bring Anabolic Designs green supplements because two day old veg just ain't cutting it. Obviously breakfast I'll get at the hotel so I'll just be sensible with whatever there is on offer so it's likely just be on those scrambled eggs something like that. Ah, uh, um, and a couple of packets of rice cakes because I just find them easy to snack on and when you're stuck in traffic jams. One of my I can tend to eat when I get bored, so uh, if I've got something like that, I can. And the, the salt and vinegar ones are quite strong flavoured as well, so I can just nibble on them quite comfortably with no major problems. To be fair, though, when I'm eating clean, like what would be an off season, see, my off season food, this is what people fail to grasp with me, my off season food is probably as clean, if not cleaner, than a lot of people's pre comp diets. Um, I'm not particularly, as long as I've got plenty of food coming in, I can stick to very bland food very, very comfortably and very easily. Where I struggle is when I'm hungry. So as long as I've got food prepped with me, I'll eat it, it's not a problem. But when I get hungry and I haven't got food prepped with me, that's when a temptation to drive into McDonald's and destroy it for 20 quid worth of McDonald's stars. Well, there's a biplane flying above me. Bloody hell, it's an old one. Um, I'm near Duxford Air Museum, which is probably why. So, um, yeah, diet-wise, I don't really struggle sort of on a, what would be a typical off-season diet to, to stay strict, and, and I don't really have cheats. I mean, I started this diet three, four weeks ago, and, and in that time I've had one pizza and um, a bit of a meal out, which was still steak-based. So, you know, it's not something I have really have an issue with. Just when you restrict food, I struggle mentally. I really struggle mentally when you start restricting food. Now, um, oh yes, something I wanted to mention, by the way. When you're driving, we have these little things, usually on a, a little stick, excuse me, at the side of the steering wheel. They're called indicators. And they... When you use them, they indicate to other drivers the direction in which you wish to go. They are not called right-of-way sticks. So, when I'm driving in the fast lane, and you're in the middle lane, 
and you decide to use your indicator, which is a rarity in itself, I know, the signal that you require or you wish to pull out into the fast lane, that's fine. It does not give you right of fucking way. Just because you indicate does not mean you can fucking pull out straight in front of me, you dick. Or any other driver for that matter. Indicators are just that. They indicate the direction in which you wish to travel. They don't give you the goddamn right to go in that direction. You still have to give way if you are moving into oncoming traffic. Okay? Thank you. Just... Just keep that clear. Right, um, that's it really, not much else to tell you. Um, looking forward to training at Crawford tonight, never trained there. Looks a really nice gym. Um, I know Paul, but never really realised that Paul owned Crawford. I know, stupid. Um, some big units down there as well, so it's going to be nice to train in the gym with some, some big guys about them, which should be quite motivating. Right. I'm, I'm going to get off, um, bored you enough with my bollocks, um, and uh, I will no doubt catch up with you over the weekend, um, and I'll let you know how my adventures are going, <laughs> if you can call them that. Uh, so take care, and I'll speak to you guys soon.